fatal and non-fatal opioid overdoses are on the decline in Maine for the first time in years. Grace Bradley shows us how state and community partnerships with Northern Light Health are aiding in battling the opioid crisis. Alongside state partners, Northern Light Health is using a multifaceted approach to combat the opioid epidemic that's impacting the state and nation at large. One way is making over 1,000 free naloxone kits, what you may know as name brand Narcan, accessible to the public. Why naloxone kits are important is they serve as almost a fire extinguisher to have on hand in the event that you encounter someone that's overdosed from opiates you can revive that person with a naloxone kit and save their life. What happens is naloxone binds to that same receptor as an opiate more strongly than the opiate itself. So if the opiate's in the system, it doesn't have a receptor in which it can bind to, and it binds so strongly it can actually displace opiates from acting on those receptors in the body. These harm reduction initiatives have proven to be effective. After years of numbers rising in Maine, 2023 saw an almost 16 percent decrease in fatal overdoses and an over 7 percent decrease in non-fatal overdoses compared to 2022. Marston says the key is tackling the epidemic holistically, addressing mental and physical health as well as the stigma of addiction. I think it's important to realize that there's no one silver bullet that's going to fix this. It takes a multi-prong effort, including the availability of opioid reversal naloxone kits, as well as the need to have tighter controls on the prescribing of opiates out in the community, the need to have access to behavioral health support and medication-assisted treatment. Another thing that we've done at Northern Light is we've initiated some targeted education to all of our providers on trauma-informed care. I think it's important to realize that addiction is an illness in and of itself. It's important to realize that we need to tackle the root cause. We need to treat the addiction. It's not enough to just state that, well, this individual shouldn't be doing this. The act of abusing the substance is what may have created the addiction, but breaking the cycle of addiction requires a much more multifaceted approach. Grace Bradley, WABI, TV5 News, Bangor. For a full list of locations where free naloxone kits are available, you can visit getmainnaloxone.org.